guys, welcome back to Digital Tour Bus. Today we are gonna talk about our first shows. So whoever we went to go see for the first time, um, I know for me, it was Avril Lavigne when I was 13 years old. It was a life-changing experience and I already knew I wanted to be a singer, but it was kind of uh, what really solidified it for me. Something that really stood out was um, I was just kind of jamming out, doing my own thing, singing as loud as I possibly could. And a guy that was there with his daughter, um, he tapped me on the shoulder and said, you know, you're gonna be a rock star someday. And I said, I know. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of the, the changing point for me. And it really kind of shaped who I was. For me, my first concert was uh, at a venue called The Gorge outside Washington, and on the border between Washington and Oregon, which is my, my dream venue to play, beautiful. Uh, and the opener was uh, not as well known. Uh, they were a band called Jimmy Eat World, still around, <laughs> killing it. Uh, but they were the opener, you know? They were, they were just getting the show started. And then a very drunk and, and sloppy, but awesome, newfound glory played second, and then finally an even more drunk and completely ridiculous saying all kinds of obscenities on stage, Blink-182. Uh, I remember the concert really well. It was my first moment smelling um, uh, marijuana. Can I say that? I can say that. It's fine. Uh, I do remember smelling that. Uh, I, I, my dad went, but we didn't hang out with him. He was like, don't go in the mosh pit, and we went in the mosh pit, and uh, it, was a good, it was a good time. So Blink, Newfound Glory, and Jimmy World. Hell yeah. So, uh, growing up, I wasn't really allowed to go to concerts um, with my friends. So finally, when I was 16 years old, um, for my 16th birthday, my best friend got me tickets to go see Red Jumpsuit Apparatus at a venue called The Docks in Toronto. And it was the first time I ever went to a concert with my friends without my parents and it was probably the coolest thing I had ever gone to because it was just general admission, so everyone was standing up and you bet I had my ass in that mosh pit all night. I'm pretty sure I crowd surfed. And I think one of the bands that opened up for them was Medina Lake. And I don't think they're around anymore, but I remember I heard them for the first time at that show and I absolutely fell in love with them. I bought all their merch, I bought their CDs, but I remember it was just a really profound moment and I was like, I want to do that one day. So, Red Jumpsuit. 